Don't fear the lion in front of you. Respect that he'll maul you if he has a chance. It's in his nature. Hello everyone, I'm Tim, Gichin Funakoshi, the father of modern karate. Certainly left a big legacy behind when it comes to karate. Probably one of the more important things he gave us is his list of 20 precepts. A series of guidelines containing personal nuggets of wisdom, references to other works like Sun Tzu's The Art of War, and also some general principles of decency. In this playlist, I'll talk about all these precepts, giving you a translation, and what I personally think can be learned from them. Let's begin. And so, let's talk about the first precept. Never forget, karate begins and ends with Ray. We used to have a saying in our dojo at Kani Uchi, hit him in the face, but with respect. Kidding aside, in any interaction with a fellow human being, respect should always be top of mind. Be it a handshake, a nod, a wink. Any type of acknowledgement that you and the other person are cool. Outside of karate, this improves your social interactions immensely. So the first precept is a strong one. We bow many times in the dojo. At the beginning and at the end of each lesson. Before and after performing our kata, when leaving and stepping onto the mat and before and after a sparring session with our partner. We do this to show respect to our instructors, our partners, our place of training, but also to those that came before us. Now, as I said, this respectful attitude should not be confined to the dojo floor. As you train and make karate a part of your life, this manner should become a part of you. Since we're not in this world forever, and since it's just a small world, Take the time and start and end your days with respect too. I know it's easy to show respect to those you love, but as karateka, as well as humans, we should also try and show respect to those who, in our mind, don't deserve it. So how can you do this? I mean, it's easy for me to tell you to respect everyone and anyone, but how the hell can you respect those people that represent the worst the human race has to offer? What I try to do, and often fail at too, is to somehow see their perspective. Try to understand the monster, so you no longer see them as one. I'm not talking about forgiving, forgetting or turning other cheeks. I mean, we're not Jesus of course. But make an attempt to see why someone does what he does or acts how he acts. This is what can really help you in making sense of this world too. I know that you, dear viewer, will point out that it's impossible to respect Hitler, Pol Pot, Bin Laden, you know, some of the poster boys for human monstrosities, but I counter this with respect is not the same as condoning. It is not the same as love. The only thing it is, is an acknowledgement that they are also human, meaning no more or less than that. Respect also teaches us what threat any of the before mentioned people pose. Don't fear the lion in front of you. Respect that he'll maul you if he has a chance. It's in his nature. Respect it, but don't accept it. So, karate begins and ends with courtesy, just for one great reason. It is to preserve your own humanity. Hate can easily destroy you, but respect is an awesome cure for this. Remember, hate leads to the dark side. If you like my take on these precepts, then a sub would be respectable. So, first precept done. Damn, that got deep. At least I got in a Star Wars reference at the end, so not a total failure. If you're watching this and the playlist is still empty, Never fear, I'm churning these out at one every week, so be on the lookout for them. In any case, click here for more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day, and as always, thanks for watching. When Chuck Norris was born, the only person that cried was a doctor. Never slap Chuck Norris.